Ariel Helwani in Las Vegas getting set for UFC 146 alongside Stipe Miocic, who faces Shane Del Rosario this Saturday night live on pay-per-view. And uh, Stipe, you got a big fight coming up, a uh, short-notice fight. When did you expect to fight next before getting this fight? Uh, you know, I was looking at this maybe sometime in June or July, you know, because, like, all the fights were filled up in May and the beginning of June. Um, but I also had in the back of my head that maybe something would happen. They would call me for 146, and I got lucky, and I did. <laughs> so you had sort of a premonition that something would happen here? Yeah, just the whole, you know, everyone dropping out and, right. you know, testing and injuries and stuff like that. And, you know, my coaches talked, and they said, hey, just be ready. You know, just something might happen, and I did. And they offered you Shane Del Rosario. He's making his UFC debut coming over from Strike Force. How much did you know about him when you got the call? Oh, I knew he was. You know, I knew he was a, he was a good fighter in Strike Force, great fighter in Strike Force. And, uh, you know, when I, when I got the phone call, and, you know, didn't hesitate and took that fight. I asked him on Monday uh, if he knew you, what his reaction was when he got the call. He said he didn't know you. He had to Google you to find out about you. Does that surprise you? Yeah, I mean, I'm still, you know, I'm still a little guy, you know, working my way up. <laughs> so it doesn't surprise you? Oh, no, I'm, you know, I just give him a couple more, you know, I'm not worried about, you know, big names. Just keep fighting and keep getting better and keep winning. Now, obviously, we last saw you in February. How much have you changed since that fight? Do you feel as though you've evolved as a fighter? Oh, definitely, definitely. You know, I learned to keep my hands up better. <laughs> uh, you know, worked on a lot of, a lot of, a lot of angles, better angles and stuff like that. You know, I, I've definitely gotten a lot better from February and, you know, and, and got better for this fight, too, just, you know, because he's a southpaw and a lot different style. He hasn't fought in a very long time. He had that car accident which sidelined him for uh, over a year. Do you expect him to be a little rusty? Do you expect him not to look like the fighter maybe that you're looking at on tape? Um, no, because I think he's a gamer. You know, he's coming in to fight and he's been there. You know, I'm going to be ready for a three-round war. Have some fun. Considering his style, is it almost a certainty in your mind that he doesn't want to take this fight to the ground? No, I mean, he, he likes going to the ground. You know, I know he does. He's good on the ground. Um, you know, but wherever the fight goes, it goes. You know, I'm just ready to, you know, I'm, I'm comfortable in every position. There's a lot of big heavyweights, and what's interesting about this card, obviously, is that it's an all heavyweight main card. You can make the case that you and Shane are kind of the unknowns. Uh, you know, Frank Mir and Dos Santos, you guys are sort of the young guns. Are you kind of trying to go in there and steal the spotlight? Like, the spotlight's on them, but you could try to take it away at the end of the night? Ah, uh, no, they're, they're fighting for a title, so that, that's the main thing. You know, that's what everyone's there for, you know. But, uh, you know, I just want to play on a good show, you know, and, you know, hopefully people you know, won't have to Google me anymore. <laughs> and just curious, being a heavyweight, um, undefeated heavyweight going into this fight, I mean, how much does being undefeated and continuing that undefeated streak, how much does that sort of play in your mind, like that you want to keep that O intact on your record? Oh, it, you know, that, I always want to, don't always, no, I hate losing, you know, I always want to win. So, uh, you know, I don't think about losing, I always got to think about winning and think positive all the time. Well, all right, well, good luck on Saturday night. We look forward to it. Thank you, sir. Appreciate it.